cheap pan quesadillas are on the menu today, baby. Yes, yeah, simple, easy to make for your family and you. Y'all will all enjoy it. Super simple. I mean, man, you can't go wrong with it, y'all. Let's get into the ingredients. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Be More On Life. Today, we gonna be making some sheep pan shrimp and chicken quesadillas, baby. Okay, today ingredients are taco seasoning, uh, we got some flour tortillas from Mission, we got some fiesta blend cheese, that cheese, cheese it up, cheese it up, cheese it up, we got that original Rotel refried beans, we got that fajita chicken, and we got some wild gulf shrimp, and of course we got our vegetables, that red onion, green onion, not green onion, green bell pepper and red bell pepper and can't believe it's not butter, baby. Okay, let's get straight into it. Okay, y'all, let's get these vegetables chopped up, ready to go. Go ahead and get these out the way. Boom, baby. There you have it. They chopped up and ready to go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to peel this gulf shrimp. Um... You want to go down the spine of the shrimp. Now, I know this might seem a little dangerous to some of you out there. I've been cooking for a long time, so I'm not scared of knives. So, yeah, this, this is how I choose to do mine. So, you want to remove the shell, the outside uh, portion of the shrimp, and throw it in a bag. Make sure you have you a bag. Make this process very easy. There you have it. So next, after I peel the shrimp, I'm going to go in with the chicken thighs. If you can't find this particular brand, you can season your chicken thighs to your likening. Um, this is the brand that I choose to get. It's already seasoned. I love this the way they season this chicken. So yeah, this is what I'm going with. So we're going to cook them down. Add a little bit of olive oil, any type of olive oil of your choice. Of course, this is your kitchen, not mine. So I'm just showing you guys what I do. So yeah, we add a little olive oil just to, you know, this this pan gets really hot and, you know, stuff tends to, to stick at the bottom. I haven't, you know, cooked with this pan in a while. So I usually stick to my Dutch oven. But yeah, so I'm cooking in a cast iron today. And we're going to get these chicken going. So we can start these quesadillas, baby. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to remove the chicken thighs that have been cooking. Remove them. And then I'm going to cut them up separately. And in that same pan with that same juice and seasoning, we're going to go in with our vegetables. Yes. Add all of that goodness into the pan. Onion, bell pepper, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. So I also toss the chicken back in so all of those flavors can combine, baby. Yes, get those flavors up in there. <laughs> so we're going to go in with the taco seasoning. And like I said before, y'all see me cook with this taco seasoning. If y'all watch my previous videos, if you don't have it, it's just a cumin. The base is cumin, paprika. You know, if you don't have this particular brand, just use whatever brand you have. I like this brand because it doesn't have as much sodium in it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and stir this around. Get everything incorporated. And then we're going to start making our quesadilla. Right here, I have Mission Flour Tortillas. And these are the extra large tortillas. I love these. They, they hold pretty good. So what I'm doing right now is just getting a light, nice layer um, to where it's covered at the bottom. And it's going to be covered at the top. So you see, I'm strategically placing these on this pan like so. And it's an eight count of tortilla, so I'm using six at the bottom, and I'm going to use two at the top. And um, if any type of bread tortilla, you have to you have to do things to to the way you want it, you know. So 
This is refried beans. And it's just like a great value. Cheap brand of refried beans. And what I want to do is, is get a nice layer at the bottom. Um, spread it very thin. You don't want a big clump of bean in your mouth when you're taking a bite of quesadilla. It's just not what's up. <laughs> So, I have my Rotel. This is just a mild flavor of Rotel because I have other people eating this dish. I don't want it to be too spicy. So, I'm just getting a nice layer of that Rotel at the bottom. And now we're going to be adding our mixture of chicken, bell pepper, and onion. Get a nice layer of that going. Oh my gosh, y'all. It looks so good already. Oh, man. Oh my goodness. Y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all can't go wrong with this meal. And it feeds up to probably, if I could guess, maybe six people. I mean, it just depends on how hungry your family is. <laughs> you know, you got a couple greedy ones in the, in the bunch. You know, it'll definitely... Uh, feed a family of four um possibly a family of six it just depends on how uh how much of an appetite your family has <laughs> so we're gonna go in with the rest of this goodness and y'all try try these recipes i'm telling y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe Man, I've been posting maybe 11 videos now. Um, I have 53 subscribers. I'm trying to get up there, y'all. Help me grow this channel. Help me get to where I need to go. I love cooking. I enjoy cooking. I want to be able to quit my job and cook full time. So only y'all can help me do that, okay? I appreciate the love. All the people that have been rocking with me since the beginning. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Be more life. This channel is going to grow. I hope you guys grow with me. Yes. So, um, I'm just getting everything nice and layered to where everybody gets a bite of everything. You always want to make sure everything is evenly distributed with these sheet pan quesadillas. So, next I'm going to be um, cooking the shrimp. I cooked the shrimp separately because I didn't want to cook it all together because, um, you know, some people don't eat seafood. So I wanted to do that separately. So I'm just mixing everything, um, you know, that was at the bottom of that pan with this shrimp so it can have all that flavor. So I'm getting all that flavor. You see, oh, I'm getting, I'm scraping everything, y'all. All right, so I forgot to show y'all when I first started putting this shrimp onto the pan. I have some there, but I'm showing you guys me put the rest of the shrimp on. Um, I'm doing about a third with shrimp and a third with just, I mean, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing 66, probably 60% of the quesadillas with shrimp and then the other uh, 40% without shrimp. Just so, you know, if... if you know, people ain't feeling shrimp. They don't have to do uh, the shrimp quesadillas. They can just do the chicken. So, I'm going in with that cheese. Ooh, we baby. I love me some cheese, y'all. Y'all already know this. So, that's that Fiesta Mexican blend cheese. And we're going to get a nice layer. Let me zoom in so y'all can see that cheese getting sprinkled on top like that. Okay. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. If that ain't doing something to y'all mouth already, I don't know what's, what would do it for you, man. Because this looks so good. Oh, rock with your girl. I got y'all. I got y'all. Yes, look at that. Nice layer of cheese on there. So now that we have everything inside of this quesadilla, all that goodness, we're going to go on top with those last two large case, um large tortillas yes we're gonna go in with that large tortillas on top and you see i'm strategically placing everything so i can get ready to fold so i'm just folding everything in strategically placing everything is the key with these sheet pan quesadillas 
So it's going to turn out bomb, y'all. Absolutely delicious. I'm telling you guys, you cannot go wrong. Just making sure everything is compact and tight. So I'm going to go in with Can't Believe It's Not Butter because I want those tortillas to lay kind of flat. And then I want a nice, crunchy outer uh, tortilla. So I'm going in with Can't Believe It's Not Butter. Y'all, I'm trying to not have, you know, cholesterol problems. So I don't do the original butter. I do Can't Believe It's Not Butter. So right here, I am just... um putting some weight onto these quesadillas so it can be nice and smashed and compact this is the finishing product i know it is not the prettiest but it's gonna be the yummiest okay a nice crunchy outer layer and that good rich gooey quesadilla on the inside there you have it, people. Sheet pan quesadilla. Oh my goodness. Cheesy, shrimpy, chickeny, bell peppery. <laughs> yes, baby. This is going to be amazing. Try it.